Hello, my name is Dwayne and today our focus is on word processing and inside of word processing we will be looking at recording macro and how to activate the macro just in case if you are not able to activate the developer tab to do so. But in this present situation right here, this present screen, you are realizing that the developer tab is there already. So I am going to go ahead and remove the developer tab so you would have an understanding of how to add it just in case you are not seeing it. So in this blue section right here, I am going to right click and I am going to go to Customize Quick Access Toolbar. It will give me this Word, Word Options. And I'm going to click on the option popular and right at this section you are seeing a list of top options for working with Word and if you look at them carefully the third from the top going down you realize we have show developer tab in ribbon which we are seeing it right here now because it is checked already so I'm going to uncheck it and I'm going to click on OK now you realize that you are no longer seeing the developer tab. So in some instances, you might open your Microsoft Word and you are seeing like what I'm seeing right now, which is you're not seeing the, de the developer tab. However, you will need the developer tab in order to perform the specific or the given task. Given tasks such as even your fillable form as well as to record a macro. So the same procedure like I did to remove the, the developer tab just now. I'm going to right click in the blue area here. I'm going to click on quick access toolbar. And then I'm going to move to popular. And in this instance, you realize that there is no check to show access to show um developer tab. So I'm going to check that area. And likewise, I'm going to click on OK. And by clicking on OK, you should see the developer tab appear up here. So let's pay keen attention. Now I'm going to click on OK. And yes, you would now see the developer tab now appears. So let's click on the developer tab to see some of the options that is found under developer tab. So here you're seeing your macro, and I record your macro as I mentioned earlier. This is what we're going to use in this tutorial. But just before moving into that, just for a quick reinforcement, that when we did look at creating fillable form, we use this area under the developer tab, which is your control, where we'll go to design mode and we will design our fillable form. But for this tutorial, we're focusing on recording macro but what really is a macro well on screen you're seeing that a macro is a series of commands and instructions that you group together as a single command to accomplish a task automatically simply mean when you record your macro, you're basically putting a series of command and instruction together. And those instruction and command is going to help you to accomplish a task automatically. And in some instance, you might even hear they refer to a macro to say a macro reduce key strokes, reduce the amount of time you will spend pressing the keys on your keyboard or clicking your mouse and so on. So by I go through um, recording, creating, recording this macro, you get a better understanding of what this is actually saying. Now, how do you record a macro? One, I am going to move to the area here. Remember, remember that we are under the developer tab, and I'm going to move to record macro. And here you're seeing that once I hover over record macro, there's a pop to say start or stop recording a macro but i'm going to just do it from this area where i click on record macro and here i am given a option to give my 
macro a name let's call this um let's call this macro task one let's call it macro task one and of course you can assign a macro to a button or to a key on your keyboard for this option i'm going to use a button it's the invalid name so let's go again let's choose macro let's um use only the word pass there click on ok good now here we are seeing a our pop up again and we are seeing this section to say normal dot new macros task because i did give my macro a name of task just now so i'm going to click on it and I'm going to click on add and pay attention when I click on add what's going to happen over here I click on add and here you're seeing what is over this side is now sent to this side of my pop-up now let's say you want to use an icon for your macro you would move to the area that have modify at this section modify and Currently, this is the icon automatically that is used for a macro. Let's say we want to, let's find something that's outstanding. Let's say we want to use a microphone for our macro button, our image. So we click on it. And at this section here, if I want the macro, the normal dot new macro to be removed, I can actually remove from it and only leave task there so now i'm going to click on ok now you realize that this section it, the icon now changed to a microphone and the word task is beside it now i'm going to put it at this section right here let before it, before you click on ok let's observe this section right here look on the icons that you are seeing right here because normally when you add your macro to your um, taskbar you normally get it or your quick access taskbar toolbar you normally get it at this section or in some cases it may be at the top so I'm going to click on OK and like I was explaining you are now seeing that your macro appears right here and you now see that there's a little diskette right at my um, pointer on the screen that's simply saying that your macro is being recorded and up here you're seeing stop recording because we're actually recording right now you see pause recording we can pause recording and when we're ready we can click to remo um, resume recording so i am going to type some instruction or some command at this point right here so i'm going to re resume my recording and i am going to type that um I am learning macro in Microsoft Word and we can move on to see that I am enjoying the class Yes, I am ready to create my first macro. All right, so I am going to stop recording at this point. But before I do so, before I stop recording, um, just ensure that everything to record is done properly, and then you can move on to stop recording. Now that I stop recording, let's say I press enter, and uh, let's say I should have um 
let me copy this section again. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it below here. And I'm going to change this section. Let's change it to, give it a color. Let's change it to, um, to blue. So you realize that I copy and paste here and paste it. And it roughly takes me about um, three to four seconds to do that. What if I want this section to come here? It can take me a next um, three to four seconds, but it can actually go less because I have recorded a macro for this section. So only thing I would need to do is to come to this area right here and click on my microphone and you realize that what is right here appears. Let's say I need it two more times. I do not have to type it over because I record my macro. All I have to do again is click on the microphone and it appears. I press enter. If I need it again, I click on my microphone here and it pays. So that's the reason why you say that macro it reduce keystroke so instead of typing the information over again you can record the macro once and whenever you need that section of text that you recorded you can simply click on the icon to have it paste wherever in your work that you are doing so in essence that is what a macro is all about so you can see where it's a series of command and instruction that is grouped together as a single command. So I put all of those command, all of those instruction and command together into one single command so I can accomplish a task automatically. So if I want all of this text to, um, to go at a particular area, I can just click on um, my icon right here, my task record macro, macro icon, and automatically you will see that section of text being appear on your screen. So that is it as it relates to macro. So just for reinforcement, remember whenever you're going to create your macro, you will first need to activate your developer tab just in case you are not seeing it. Now, in order to develop competency and be comfortable in using your macro, it is very important for you to practice your macro. All right. So please remember to practice and give this video a like or a thumbs up if you have learned something from this video and you can also share the link with a friend as well. Have for you a great rest of the day.